Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about uh, how to import devices from a spreadsheet software like a Microsoft Excel into Zabbix. Usually when we open this question, uh, an API comes in mind, like use a help of Zabbix API to import those like entries from, from the Excel into the software. But uh, I, I will talk about alternative way uh, because uh, even for me, when I first uh, get my hands on uh, like creating a script, it felt like a rocket science and like uh, I, I felt like I need three days to figure it out. And uh, uh, this should be much more simplified like way. So we will practically use like in, you know, in the spreadsheet software, there is a function concatenate, which allows to merge together two textual strings and that will be the key to succeed. So let's uh, go uh, forward with this journey. And um, the point here is um, like, I'm uh, guiding you to learn a strategy. I, I mean, uh, learn a structure, how uh, exactly the export uh, file looks like. And to do so, uh, we should create like at least two host objects. Let's have it uh, like host uh, four. I will create it to belong to the host group new with some sort of uh, IP address. And um, 69, something like that. Uh, that's everything add. And let's clone this host. Uh, and the clone will be 55 and it will belong to something else like Linux uh, servers and maybe a little bit different uh, IP address add. And uh, like this time I'm simulating uh, this, these hosts with the server hosts like Linux servers, Windows servers. Uh, of course, with this tutorial will be applicable for network equipment as well uh, as it can run with the SNMP version two or SNMP version three. But to keep it simple to, uh, for understanding, uh, agent hosts have uh, less fields, uh, less characteristics. So it's easy to understand. So I will select both hosts and export to an XML file. Uh, nowadays, like the very popular is YAML, which is very readable. But for this project, I think XML is a better fit uh, and we will find that very soon. Uh, so export uh, to the external file, click. And now like what's inside this file? Uh, if we uh, open that file, here I have the text editor. And uh, the header of the file, it's like highlighting, which is the version. And uh, then the next chapter is like, it takes care that uh, host groups must exist inside the Zabbix already. And to keep this tutorial simple, simplified, then I, I will remove this portion, uh, which would mean like before you import the hosts, make sure you have host group Linux servers, make sure you have a host group called new. Uh, so this portion is kind of taking sure it exists, but uh, let's keep it uh, like more readable. Uh, so I'm deleting this host and then uh, and in, then the chapter starts, which is like um, responsible about importing individual host object. Uh, it's interesting for me that two tags with the same name happens here, host, and then there is another host and this is in plur plural hosts. Uh, like two tags with the same name uh, appears. And then uh, when we see like host four here and host 55, it repeats. So this will be the pattern, which is uh, distinguishable uh, when the new entry appears. And so we will kind of orchestrate this format in the Microsoft Excel or, or whatever uh, spreadsheet software we are using. And uh, in, uh, the journey will start like I will uh, copy this uh, textual data copy to the clipboard, uh, visit like a tool which is um, uh, formatting this uh, structure in a single line. Uh, there is a, an online tool here like XML Minify. We can uh, like um, Google uh, that. So this is the full structure. And if I click the button, XM XML Minify, now it's a single line. I can use triple click here or, or this button, copy to clipboard and go back here and replace this content with the like everything in the one line. 
Now it's uh, for those who are um, like uh, familiar familiar how to do some replacements. Uh, like you can replace text string with some other string. Uh, I will open this functionality, and what I can do is like I can seek when the, when the entry starts, and as we saw before, uh, every host entry always starts with the host and another tag with the same uh, style. And then uh, I'm, I will inject a new line character at the beginning. Uh, and I'm using like regular expression um, type of replacement. And if I click like execute this substitution in the whole document, click. And now uh, if I go to the beginning of the line, I can see uh, this is the header, like uh, the header opens and then uh, the first um, entry, which must be imported, and then the second entry. And there is also a footer, footer which we can figure out like by, uh, like by scrolling to the end of the first line, we see the first line, uh, first entry ends with the forward slash host, and we see it is over here. So uh, the tag hosts, it kind of belongs to the footer. Enter. Uh, let's keep it like this and also in, uh, turn on uh, line uh, uh, wrapping and uh, now increasing the font size. So practically what I'm working is like I need to orchestrate this format. Like this is treated as a single import entry, but we do usually uh, over the API, we kind of need to provide the name of the host what is the host groups, IP address, and maybe something else in case of SNMP uh, monitoring. There are a lot of fields. So this is the goal to get this format in the um, Excel. And let's uh, see the order here. Like first is the host name, then host group, IP address, and um, um, Actually, like, um, yeah, th th there, there is option to do proxies. Like if you uh, plan to import in the proxy, then the complexity is increasing. Let's do only three fields right now. Uh, and uh, here I will put like name, uh, host group, and um, IP, which is interface. And I will call like uh, host uh, 13, uh, host group will be Linux servers. Uh, so this group must exist already. IP address will be 10.10.10.50 uh, 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 or, or 11. And let's have uh, something very similar. Uh, the IP address will be 22. Uh, this will be Windows servers and um, host 99, uh, like Linux new host and also like maybe host group new, which will be with the uh, different IP address. Okay, so that this would be like how we usually prepare the like host objects, uh, like the ones we plan to onboard. We have like this nice table uh, with the network equipment. It would, boot, it, it would have so many more fields with the SNMP version free, but to keep it simple, uh, we have three fields. And now we need to like, figure out how to replicate that format, which is in the XML format. And we can surely do this in the D column. Uh, and the function we need is like there is um, a function concatenate, uh, which is able to merge the strings together. So I will use this copy and put this in the notepad right now to prepare my uh, uh, logic. And to falling back with the uh, Excel, we can clearly see that um, the row, uh, I mean the cell uh, A2 represents the host name, B2 is the host group, and C2 is the IP address. Uh, so let's keep it again, like uh, B2 is host name, and uh, like, uh, uh, sorry, this is the A. A2 is host name, B2 is a uh, host, uh, host, uh, host group, and um, uh, C2 is IP. Let's uh, grab this cheat sheet to the notepad, and this is the cheat sheet. And now the orchestration, like uh, I can open the double quotes. So the line starts with the host, uh, host. I will put it over here, comma then uh, A2 
comes a comma double quotes then it continues over here copy click uh, and then comma and it actually repeats the same name so a2 comma and now it continues uh, till the host group click comma uh, now the actual host group which is b2 click comma uh, double quotes continue and we will select here over the IP address click comma and now the IP address which is C2 click and now like the rest of the line after the IP address this is the rest of the line and parenthesis close and that's it like this is the magical line which is like either you write uh, a Python script uh, with the complex code or you need to like cook this line and it will almost like solve, solve the problem entirely uh, I hope no typos are here so copy and opening the Excel uh, I will put the cursor over here and paste that formula enter seems like working like here we see the XML format if we scroll uh, forward we can see like it kind of the same line as it in my notepad and um, that is uh, like uh, almost the, the full thing uh, what I need to do is like duplicate this line so I will uh, uh, like duplicate here in the line 3 and 4 we can clearly see it expands correctly and here all we need to do is put the header so uh, selecting the header uh, and uh, putting in the D1 click uh, paste enter and the footer uh, the footer is this guy copy uh, and you can put the footer like very down as far as it is as far as it is still stay in the D then great uh, so footer will be approximately here uh, paste this is the footer and now the magical moment like uh, all we need to do is click on this D uh, click to select all the D contents and copy to the clipboard and now uh, open the text editor and paste click and this is the like prepared structure for the XML so if I save uh, import dot XML enter now will it work so if we go back here I have host 5 host 55 and um, I, I think I did have different name uh, let's see uh, oh no, uh, all my free hosts is having the host name inside and import click and I will choose my uh, masterpiece and uh, open import and OK and voila all those hosts they did came like uh, as I did uh, prepare inside the Excel host 1399 uh, Linux host and uh, if we look closer like this belongs to the Windows uh, servers and uh, other ones belong to different servers as I said so, so this is a alternative way how to not use Zabbix API to get the job done uh, if the coding is not so friendly with you I think everyone did learn the Excel in the early school days and have some uh, some experience like all we need to do is how to concatenate the textual string and uh, it's um, it's completely alternative way without coder skills and uh, now you have to say like Excel is too hard I, I cannot figure it out like uh, so it, it, there is a choice like either Zabbix API or Microsoft Excel with the concatenate function and it will get the job done uh, it will be a little bit more to do for SNMP version 2 and SNMP version 3 it is almost having like 20 fields um, so the concatenate is will be very long but as far as you do without typos uh, first time or, or uh, like figure out how there is no like no typos at all then it will get the job done okay that is everything for this tutorial if you find it useful give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching